Hey there. <clears throat> so Ita and I are going to go check on the garden again today. And uh, she's down there. And we're going to check underneath this, uh, this is garden shed again. So we get the camera turned around. We'll yeah. take a look. <laughs> Okay, here we go. There's two of them. There's three of them underneath there. And she missed one of them. Dang. Good job, Neela. Those rats had no idea what was coming. Come here. They're big ones. Here, here, here. Let go. It's done. She's crunching it. Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. You missed two. Two other ones. Come here. Here, here, here. Look in there. Get in there. Here, here, here. Get in there. So there were three underneath there. Dang, I should have put e well, that was actually a good thing. Neela, here, 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 here. So we're not sure where it went. Let's check over here. There could be a hole that goes down in there. Let's check over here to see if anything went underneath here. Oh, nothing under there. Nothing that went over there. Dang it, I wonder where they went. I need to. I wonder if any of them went underneath here. I'll move this. Neela, come here, 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 here. Watch. Watch. Okay, come out. Okay, so there's a hole over there. And I think that hole comes over to here. The trouble is, is yeah, there's holes underneath there. Yeah, we can't go digging up the neighbor's yard. Well, there's another hole over there, underneath there. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some grain underneath here. one. Hey, we just caught a rat. <laughs> Me and Neela. Really? Really? Yeah. Neela caught it just now. It was underneath here. Oh yeah. Alright. So this one. Boy, what a big boy. Alright, well, we're going to keep looking around. And uh, that was good. I... The other day we caught, um, Ita caught one over here. So there's a couple of places I'm going to check around my house and see what else we can find. But this is my garden and I could show you that there's that path there. So, all right, well, man, I'm glad we caught that one. I'm going to put some grain underneath here and see if I can bait some more over there. Good job, Neela. Good job. So whenever I catch rats, I don't actually let them go to waste. Uh, rats are actually make really good um, mink food for my mink Ita. So whenever we catch a rat, especially big ones like this, we just put them in the freezer. And we've caught a whole bunch. And I'll freeze those. That will kill 
any parasites in there and then I'll thaw them out and bed them and I grind them up to make meat food for Ita. So right now let's go over and see Ita. Um, there's one other spot I want to check with Ita. So I'm going to get her on a harness and we're going to take her around the side of the house. I got another wood pile over there that I'm wondering if there's some rats in. Let's go see if there's any signs over there. Okay, Ita's over here. I'm going to get her on a harness. We're going to take her around to the side of the house where there's another wood pile where I stack some old um, 1x4s. When I remodeled my house, I'm going to look for some rat signs over there. We could have had the other rats from the garden scoot over there. That's very possible. So we'll go check that spot over there. Okay, to encourage Ita to get into her kennel all the time, I always put a little bit of food right there in the back, and then she just hops in there and uh, goes to the back. I've also been working with Ita to reduce her weight. Um, she got pretty fat. Um, over the summer, spring and summer, but um, I've been reducing her weight quite a bit, feeding her probably a third or a half of what I normally feed her, and that's been working well. I can see that she's actually lost quite a bit of weight, plus she's responding to um, rewards of food a lot better than she used to be. Okay, yeah, there she is right there. Okay, so let's get her in here. Look at how anxious she is. We'll get right in there. There you go, good girl. And you can see that she wants her treat right away. She just gobbled it right up. There's her little tongue. All right, let's take her over and see if we can find some other rats. So I'm going to get her harness on first, though. Okay, so I missed that. Um, I got Ita's harness on. I thought I was filming, but I wasn't. But I got her harness on, and I got her back in her little um, little box here. And we're going to take her over by the side of the house and see if she can find anything. We might take Neela over there, see if Neela marks anything. And if Neela marks something, I'm going to move Neela out of the way because I want this to be a good hunting experience for her. And Neela tends to be a rat hunting hog. She wants to catch them all. <laughs> okay, so right over here, my garden's on this side of, this sh of my um, shop. It's right over there my garden boxes and on the other side of this shop is where that um, that little garden shed is and we think some rats came out over here and may have scooted over here and went over here because I've got this I've got some of this scrap lumber over here a bunch of it and so we're gonna take a look okay, Neela already seems to be a little bit interested Let's see if she can find something in there. Find a rat, Mila. Find a rat. Well, she's marking something. She thinks that there's something in there. She's pretty interested. Oh, I think we scared one. There's one that went around the corner there. Um, where did it go? Oh, you know what? I forgot about this. This winter, I've had that board there the whole time. And Nina, I'm gonna go. I'm going to go get Ita. Okay, let's get Ita out. Come here, Ita. I'm going to go... Come on. Come on. Come on out. She can be so shy about coming out. Come on. Let's go find that rat. sure I got my box. Let's go over here a little bit closer. It's 
monsters out of that board. I think we're lucky. Wishies. Oh, okay, let's open this up. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, it went underneath there. I better go get me. Look underneath there. Here, here, here. It's right on the rim. I wonder if it went in there. That'd be funny. Well, we caught one and lost one. We found another one over there and I wanted Ita to try to catch in it and I moved, if I wouldn't have moved that board, and, it, and I didn't know it was in there, but if I wouldn't have moved that board and let just Ita go all the way to the back, she probably would have got onto it. But when, once it ran off, she wasn't interested in chasing it for some reason, I don't know why. Um, she's never really chased after a lure or a rat like that. So maybe what I need to do is I need to do some lure training with her to get her to running around. But then she was a little bit overheated, so Sorry about the light. Um, trying to get in the light a little bit better here. Uh, here. Oh, that's still not very good, but um, I'll take my hat off some. Um, anyways, Ita caught, didn't catch one, but Neela did. If I would have had Neela over there, she probably would have caught it. But I'm going to put some grain over underneath that little shed, see if I can attract some more rats to come there, and then. Um, I'll put Ita just underneath there and I probably need to take and block off some of those places so that the rats don't have a place to go and it gives Ch Neela a chance to catch one. When I lifted it up, Neela got underneath there. She caught one, but she missed two more. And one of those, they're all three really big mature rats. And she wants to get cooled off some more. on her back. Just relax, she's trying to get cool off. Thanks for joining us. See you later. Bye. Yeah. Good job. Good job. <laughs>